Hi again, everybody, from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. This is News Break on Paper News 24-7. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. Crawfordsville Blue Illusion and Tuttle Middle School Starlets competed at the Indiana High School Dance Team Association State Competition over the weekend. The competition was Saturday at Newcastle. The first dance team took the floor at 9 a.m. with the awards beginning at 8.45 p.m. The first awards given out was the annual IHS DTA Scholarship Awards. Senior girls from all over the state can qualify for this scholarship. This year, the committee chose four recipients of the scholarship. One of the awards winners was Hannah Rogers from Crawfordsville. Team awards were next. The Tuttle Middle School Starlets were awarded third place in Jazz and Crown State uh, Champion in Hip Hop. Crawfordsville Blue Illusion placed third in Kick, third in Hip Hop, and fourth in Jazz. The Crawfordsville dance teams are directed by Tammy Haas, Kristen Coons, Rita Hubbard, Heidi Gambrell, and Chelsea Harden. All Crawfordsville dance teams will perform for the public on March 24th at 2 p.m. at Crawfordsville High School's auditorium. Tryouts for next year's team will begin Thursday. If interested or need more information, please contact Tammy Haas at thaas at seville.k12.in.us. It's all about the people. That's what David Mutchler told our Omer Dylan Redden. He is a professor of software engineering at Rose Holman, and Redden asked him for a tagline that would draw people into robotics. Redden went on to say, I met David at the inaugural Indiana First Tech Challenge Championships on Saturday. The event was hosted by Crawfordsville High School and more specifically by Darren Wilcoxon, the leader of the robotics club and a teacher at CHS. Redden said, I met David, Darren, and a few others there, and here's what I learned. The Crawfordsville robotics team is called Team 535 Tobor, which of course is robot spelled backwards. These kids are full of energy and passion. When I went to talk to their fearless leader, a junior named Stiles, I ended up talking to 10 of them. The students surrounded me, chattering about their robots, their team, their specific roles, and the like. They were a fascinating bunch, so I bantered with them a long while. They told me their team consisted of three groups, mechanics, graphic designers, and computer programmers. And you can read more about that story online or in the paper of Montgomery County today. Through March 18th, the Crawfordsville Police Department is joining more than 250 state and local law enforcement agencies in Indiana for a crackdown on impaired and dangerous driving called drunk driving over the limit under arrest. Last March, there were 50 fatalities on Indiana roads. Of these, 28% involved a driver who was legally intoxicated. Crossfire Youth Ministries is offering a free concert for those in grades 6 through 12 on Saturday at 6 p.m. featuring Jeff Sofree and The Revelator. Free pizza will be provided. Prizes include a $100 gift card to Jaded, a digital camera, and 10 free movie tickets. The concert will be at Cross Point Fellowship, 1350 Ladoga Road in Crawfordsville. The event is sponsored by Crossfire Youth Ministries. When we come back, Weatherby shares his weather forecast for us, including his three-degree guarantee, and we'll look at sports. You're watching News Break on Paper News 24-7. Bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Gould's Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Gould's will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Gould's will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Gould's Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. 
Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's, all backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are. And we're back. Weatherby says the skies will be mostly sunny today with a high of 70 degrees. Now, if Weatherby is off by more than 3 degrees, send us an email at Weatherby, that's W-E-A-T-H-E-R-B-Y, at the paper, 24-7.com, and let us know. Includes your name and phone number, and at the end of the month, all those who called in and caught Weatherby will be entered into a drawing for a prize. Now we flip over to page A5 where we find our sports today. Our new sports editor Ross Flint reports neither of Montgomery County's representatives advanced past Friday's Lafayette Jeff Regional Gymnastics meet, but it was still a good experience for the two. Crawfordsville junior Allie Anderson and Southmont senior Kara Price competed but did not advance to the, this week's semi-state. Price competed in the vault where she scored 8.85 points to come in 14th. Logan Sports Morgan Klein was one spot ahead of her with 8.9 points. Ron Kelly's Cassie Schulteis won that event with 9.475 points. She did real well, Coach Amy Zachary said. That was the goal, to get out of the sectional. I'm happy she was able to compete with that level of gymnasts. And it had been 23 years since Wabash had a national champion among its athletes. Kevin McCarthy ended that by winning the one-mile run at the 2012 NCAA Division III Indoor Track and Field National Championship meet Saturday at Grinnell College in Grinnell, Iowa. The senior started in the back of the pack as he and assistant coach Roger Bush planned before the meet. With 400 meters left, he moved up to second, and with just over a lap remaining in the race, made his final move into first. He pulled away from the pack, winning in 4.08.93, just off the NCAA Indoor Championship record set in 2007, which was 4.08.19. However, his time did easily break the previous record at Grinnell College Bear Recreation and Athletic Center Fieldhouse that was set last year at 4.13.06. And that's a look at news, weather, and sports on Paper News 24-7 and from the pages of the paper of Montgomery County. I'm Frank Phillips reporting. It's a little soggy this morning, but hey, enjoy this afternoon. It's supposed to be sunny and warm with a high of 70 degrees.